What's up, y'all? We're here along beautiful, gorgeous California coastline, along a rocky, rocky part. Today, we're going for rockfish, cabazon, and lingcod. And today, as I'm fishing, check this out. I'm using a Carolina rig. I'm surprised that not a lot of people use a Carolina rig when they go fishing for rock cod. I'm gonna have my main line attached to a swivel and then a small linker that will have a sliding weight in between these two swivels and then a, a short leader, two and a half feet or so to my bait, which is attached to a snap swivel. So I could switch out colors and presentations if I wanted to. But let's go out there and try it, man. Let's go. So today I'm out with David. You might have seen him. I'm also out with Matt's today. Took a little trip over here, trying to catch some fish. So rockfish season, nibble, nibble. So rockfish season has been closed from shore for a while now. What is it? February now. So it's been closed for a couple months. Um, oh man, there's a fish though. It's been closed for a couple months now. And so um, you're allowed to fish for rockfish from shore like this, where it's absolutely gorgeous, but from a boat, you are no longer allowed to fish. So that's why we're out here at this beautiful, beautiful shoreline today, trying to catch us some rockfish. There's a fish out there though, I'm gonna get it. Probably messed up my worm. Yep, pulled it. I really wonder what kind of fish is out there. My guess is a black rockfish. They're extremely common here. This bad boy sink all the way to the bottom. Ah, I feel like I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get splashed. I'm gonna get my feet wet over here. Woo, I feel good. It's been a while since I came out rock fishing. There's one. Oh, missed it, missed it. Missed it, it's there though. It's there though, it's there. Same spot. Oh, come on, man. I'm gonna let it take it this time. Oh! That was insane, I just saw a tree fall down over there. Oh, I keep missing it. Come on, baby. That's my, oh, look at that. It's completely off the hook. Try to cast around that same spot. Woo! Yeah. David just got a nice blue. Woohoo! He's got that on the fisherman's life jig. Right there, there's David with his first fish. We're out here for like five minutes. Yeah. Woo! That's a nice blue. Max! <laughs> All right, haven't gotten a bite there for a minute. So, I'm gonna move spots. Oh, look at all this seaweed. Gotta be super careful when walking on this stuff. Super slick. Changed it up white and flashy green. I think they call it sardine or something. I saw that you guys just got splashed. I got splashed bad too. Whoa, you gotta watch out for those. Got 
one. Probably a black or a blue. Baby cab. Flip this guy. Little cab. I think it's too small. Look at the colors on this guy though. Choke that swim bait. Really wanted that swim bait. You know what it means when there's a cab though. That means that there's a ledge out there. See ya. Fish number one. Look at this, Max has a little live pool right here. We got a couple of nice looking fish down there. Nice cabs on right there too. Look at as soon as it hit bottom, we started tapping at it. Yeah. And then it just Oh, that's a fat one. Wow. Fat copper. That's fat on bait, man. See if they don't bite the swim baits, dude. Go for I some it was bait. A lean, bro. <laughs> oh my god. That's nice. That's nice. All right, here we go. Look at this. I got a couple purple squid flies on with some squid and a couple ounces of weight here. And David, he's been working this spot for many, many casts with the swim bait. Nothing was hitting it. He threw some squid on instantly, instantly got hit. So got to find out what they're biting and, and go with that. Watch this, bro. First cast. I know. I want to do get a double since I have two hooks on I want to leave it on there if I get a hook hook the first one set the hook and then leave it there and, and see if I can get a double dude that'd be so cool Maybe. There it is. Oh, got it. Got it. Yeah. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. Yeah. Wow. That, that's a good one. Look at this fish. I knew it. Look at this fish. Wow, that's a good one. Yeah. Wow, what is this? That's a copper. I was gonna leave it too. Oh, it came. Nope. No. No. Oh, it's riding that wave. Yeah. Doubled up! Doubled up, baby! Doubled up, like I said. <laughs> Doubled up with the cabs on. That's a is that a ling? No, that's no, a big cab. Like that's, a, that's a fat cabbie. You oh, come on. Doubled up. Oh, that's a fat cabbie. That's a fat cabbie. That's a fat cabbie. Uh, I got it. I got it. That's a fat cabbie. That's a fat cabbie. The double. <laughs> The double, dude. <laughs> Guy right here. That's just what I said. He's gonna get it right now. Dude. Oh, keeper. Wow. Keeper cab, keeper, copper, baby. Wow. Bro, you amazing. called it. That is amazing, dude. You called, you called it. it the double up, baby. <laughs> the double up. Dude, yeah. look, look, look at this. Freaking up. Nice That's copper. It. Dude, That's this ling, though. Oh, this, this cab is on, though. That's so, you, that's the greatest, man. You called Dude, it. Dude, called it. You totally you called, called it. it. <laughs> he called it double. We got the Coast Guard behind us. Oh, look at this guy. He just, he just spit up, what is that? Oh, a whole digested crab claw. This, uh, this cab's on right here. Look, look how soft it is. It's soft. It's, it's like it got. meat. What is that? It like, it, it, I bet it's like stomach acid, it's digested all the claw. All the calcium? Yeah. Yeah. Or whatever it's made out of. And dude, it's, it's so soft now. 
Wow. That looks kind of delicious. <laughs> wow. Amazing. Got turquoise meat. I'm gonna eat this guy. I'm gonna bonk him. Actually, put it put it in the in the live well. Wow. Into the live well it goes. Oh, what a big fish! Dude, that green light is nice like fish. I'm out of here. I know. The boss has arrived. Bro, what if he what if he inhales? He eats that the, green light? Oh man. That's a possibility. Let's put this copper in there. Oh yeah, there we go. How beautiful does that aquarium look? Yeah. Where's the other, where's Matt's uh, cab? Oh, I, I think I see it's fan. I think it's under mine. Wait, there's a, there's another cab in there? Yeah, dude? Matt's has another cab. What? Look, look, at, look at the other one. It's right there. It's so camouflaged. You see it? Oh, it's red. What? It's yeah. red. No way, dude. That's crazy. Whoa, you see mine? Is mine changing colors? It's totally changing Whoa, colors. Whoa, I didn't, I didn't know it. Wow. I didn't know they do that. Bro, it's Dude, totally changed colors. It's literally changing colors to camouflage itself right now. I didn't know cabs could do that. I didn't either. Just like octopus and squid. Wow. Dude, that's what? so cool. Yeah, he was It not, wasn't, he, he was, was not green, no, he, he was, wasn't red. No, he was not that, that like, that, yeah. Right? <laughs> no, totally. That just happened right now. Wow, that's amazing. Dude, that's so cool. He's eyeing that green one, bro. <laughs> dude, that's so cool. Hey, that's so cool. the cab is like underneath. Yeah, dude. You see the other one, right? I mean, yeah, but it doesn't even look right. like a fish. Yeah, it's so camouflaged. That's so crazy, dude. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I couldn't see it for a sec. I was like, where'd it go? He was definitely more blue when we put him in. Oh, 100%, yeah. Look at it, it's like, it's turning red now. It is. Matching the environment, it matching is. the other cab. Ooh, is dude. it something he consciously does or is it just, who knows, man? That's fascinating. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, dude. Wow. Amazing, amazing. That's so cool. Double up, baby. Doubles, baby. That's, that's amazing. Called it. Look at that. Changing colors was not red before. You can see sort of patterns of, of red around its head and around its body now. Amazing, dude. These animals are amazing. Wow. All right, let's get back to fishing. Dude, did you know Cabazons change colors? You know how yours is red? Mine's turquoise blue. Brought him out, it was turquoise blue. Threw him in the live well, and it immediately started change, changing to red. Yeah, nuts, man. Wow, man, this is what we live for, guys. Moments just like these. Man, that was quite amazing. Well, I can't get a double up anymore because one of my hooks broke. Broke in that cabazon, but you know, keeping it anyway, it's fine. But we'll see if we get another one. Man, that was my first cast earlier. Come on again. Come on again. Another one. Another one. Oh, I was gonna I was gonna talk to the camera. Oh, that's I was gonna talk to the camera right now. I was gonna move the camera angle. Did it come off? Oh, nope, it's still on there. Oh no, it's snagged. Oh no, you saw that? I was coming back to talk to the, I was gonna shift the camera angle. Oh, don't do this to me. Oh no. Some fish on in a snag. See it? It's out! It's out! Wait it out, baby! Wait it out! Oh, come up here! Kelp Greenling. A nice one. A nice Greenling. Keeper! So it looks close. I think. No? Yeah. 
He said, hell no. Hell no, like not even close. Is it for sure, Keeper? Yeah. Nice greenling, nice greenling. It was snagged, that's what you do. Shout out to, shout out to Mimi Fish. She uh, made a video recently, said she learned from Matt's Fisherman's Life. What she learned and what she said in her video was that if you catch a fish and it gets snagged, just wait it out. You know, wait till the fish fights a little bit, gets free, and then you could get them up. And that's what happened. Dude, look at my cabazon now, it's red. It, cha it literally changed colors. It was turquoise blue when I brought it up. That's amazing, wow. Look at these mussels. Mussels, oh look, there's urchin, there's uni. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat some of that too. I'm gonna grab that one in a bit. But I'm gonna harvest, I might harvest some mussels too. Oh, there's a lot of urchin in here actually. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab some of that, eat it. Cool, I'm gonna have me a nice lunch. Look, the tide went out, right? You know what that is? That's an abalone. It's alive too. It's basically a big snail. Oh, it's moving. I wonder if I should help it get back to the water. But uh, I'm glad to see them recovering here in California. Look at this too. What are you gonna cook? Look at that. Walking along. That looks dead though, huh? A rock crab in there? Yeah. Colors just are too too dull. Oh yeah, it's alive. It's alive. <laughs> it's alive. It's very dull though. But rock crab, eh, that's probably not even legal. But look at this, we're just in this tide pool here. These little tide pools. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I mean, it's so so turquoise and blue. It's just it's its stomach is. Look at the size of those pecs, man. It's <laughs> just like monster. Yeah. I just started trying to shake it. Um, yeah, greenlings are delicate. So 18? 18. Nice. 18 inch. All right, let's put this guy out. Thank you, buddy. Really appreciate you. You're gonna be my lunch today. That's crazy. Well, it's gonna be my lunch. Now that the fish is out, I'm gonna gut this fish. I wanna see what's in its belly. It's a, it's a big belly, dude. Yeah, it's been, yeah. Actually, that's gotta be a fish, bro. Actually, let me use another knife. Hope so. Oh. All right, got this knife from Outrigger Outdoors. There's the intestines. Oh, it's still squirming. Let's see what's in here. It's something hard. An abalone shell? I don't know. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's a squid with my hook on it. Oh, damn. There's my hook with the squid on it. There's my hook with the squid on it. And then just looks like a bunch of digested crab. Here's a... Looks like a... Oh, one of those parasites. Yeah. All right, now we got the fish nice and gutted here. I'm just gonna slit the fish a little bit, add some olive oil and then uh, sprinkle some seasoning on there. It's gonna have sea salt, oregano, some garlic. Um, it's pretty simple, but 
get really, really good. And then we're gonna grill this guy over, a, over some charcoal. I'm gonna stuff the inside cavity with, um, with some parsley and some thyme. But first, let's go ahead and rinse this guy off. Abalone in there, big one. amazing just some slits so it cooks a little easier just a little bit of olive oil this olive oil smells so good this garlic olive oil here I found some rocks that I could use. Just uh, go ahead and put this on that side. Put that guy on this side. There we go. There we go. All right. Might have to add. A little more charcoal. Had to be, had to be a blue. Had to be a blue. Not, a, not a bad one. Bunch of these guys down there. Alrighty, it looks like we're about ready. Look at that. Look at that cheek meat right there. That's just straight popping out. Look at that cheek meat right there, that's straight popping out. That's one of the best parts. I had to cook this guy for way longer than eight minutes a side. Actually, this was about like, that's probably about like 15 minutes per side. Maybe even more. Still, still dripping, so it's still juicy. Let me, Let's try some of this cheek meat first. Mm. Wow. I love Cabazon. Tastes just like lobster. The fellows over there are still, still fishing. Still trying to get on some fish. By the way, shout out to any fish can get it. Sent me this hat. Uh, check out his YouTube. He, uh, fishes obviously and, uh, and actually has some uh, does some fishing wrap that's a uh, you don't see that very much but shout out to him man really really cool hat right here very very flaky flaky white fish 
It's interesting, right? When, when you cook it up, that blue turquoise meat turns white. And today I witnessed this fish turn colors. It was so turquoise when I pulled it out the water, right after I put it in that, in our little live well, immediately started turning the same colors as its surroundings. So cool. Wow, that seasoning is so good. I think the seasoning's from Hawaii, actually. I got this. More of the seasoning right here is this Hawaiian sea salt, oregano, lemon pepper, um, garlic, and some natural pineapple flavoring, whatever that is. But got this from Hawaii. So thankful that I could catch my own food and cook it up right here with the ocean view. It's amazing. Um, got this fish on my lap. It's, it's all over me. And then right behind me are the homies there. They're fishing and I got this ocean view. I'm just watching them fish. Hopefully you get something. Oh boy. Flakiness. Here we go. Look at that flaky cabbie meat. Cabbie used to be my favorite, but I've since figured out that rockfish is a little bit superior. Yeah? But, you like uh, rockfish more? I love cabbie. Ooh. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. Got a little charcoal with the parsley mixed up in there. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah, that's yummy, bro. Yeah, I got it. Nice right. work, man. Thanks, dude. Yeah, if it wasn't so hard grilling out here. <laughs> huh? This mess, dude, he's on again. Oh, it just came off. It just came off, dude. And all you hear is just him yelling, you. Man. Yeah, it's good. Have it. Mm. Kabazuki. Yeah. That is so good. Oh, Look yeah. All that meat, bro. I know. You don't mind that I'm just digging in here? Do it, man. Do your thing. Nice. Look at that flaky delicious. Yeah, I know. Woo! Ooh, there it was, dude. <laughs> there it was. You gotta go deep. Yeah. The deeper you go, like in the cavity back here. Right. The yeah. more. The more herb, of that herb, herb flavor. Herb essence it is. Herb essence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, that's fire, man. Awesome, dude. Woo! Ah, this is the life. Deep is all day. 